How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another Doken Battle video and today we are going to be taking on the Mask Saiyan Bardock event with a Mono STR team just because it would be ridiculously hard with a Mono Agility team unless you consistently can get critical hits. So I hope you guys are having a great day as always and if you are new and you like what you are seeing today consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay so let's go ahead and find ourselves a good Goku and then we can go ahead and get this event started. So all of them seem to have the basic abilities, but no, like, really high crit levels or... You know what, I'll take this one. He has a high super attack level, and this is the squad that we are taking. Unfortunately, my Goku is currently only at super attack 5, and I've said this before. I just wish I had my, and way, more, and way more Kai's. There should honestly be a way to obtain Kai's. I mean, pardon me, I know you can get them with the gems, and of course, occasionally... They um, do bring back the GT events where you can get the Kai's from, but that's not sufficient. I have like six, maybe seven optimal units that need to be leveled up. For example, I have um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I have Gogeta, I have Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, I have Super Saiyan Rage Trunks, um, Omega Shenron. I've just, I have so many units that I need to level up, but I can't, and I don't exactly want to summon on the, um, okay, I don't exactly want to summon on the type banners unless it's the in type and LR Gohan is on there of course so and I've, and I get super attack straight away by the way he locks well he doesn't lock your characters characters in place he stops you from super attacking which is just great isn't it oh dear and um, he occasionally does stop your super saiyan 4 Goku from super attacking how do I know because I have very bad experiences with this guy so I did try this before and I kind of died because I wanted to test something out and um yeah let's just leave it at that um do i want to get i'm trying to think about this now do i want to get the super saiyan 3 gt goku linked up with this one because that's super attack 10 i feel like that is probably the best decision so gonna have to separate the gt goku um next turn and then yeah, it takes away like 400, 500k damage away from him. So yeah, there's no point in keeping him with my my one because his super attack isn't even that high. So, and I'm, oh, okay, great ape. Um, this is actually good because we can save a few of our um, items here. But thankfully, the good thing about this event is that it doesn't have a countdown like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku event. Um, and you generally stay in great ape mode for two turns, sometimes more if you're lucky. I've actually been in great ape mode for five turns once, I believe. I was, like, it was just off camera and I wasn't, like, doing anything crazy. It was just a normal event, I believe. And he just stayed in that mode for whatever reason. So I thought that was interesting. I didn't realise that he can stay in the mode for that long. So, should be able to... You know what, let's target Bardock here, because we should be able to take Mira out with regular hit. Is that going to drop the way I want it to? No. Okay, let's say, um, let's see if we can stay in this mode for at least one more turn. I just realised I didn't even target Mira. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, that did not take much away from it. Come on, um, come on, let's stay in this for one more turn. One more turn! One more turn! Uh, I told you. It just doesn't happen. Uh, um... You know what, I kind of have to keep it together for this, keep them together for this turn in hopes that I do take out the Bardock here, hopefully. We have a time advantage against Mira, so that's not a problem, it's just this Bardock, he has a lot of health. If this was linked up with the other Goku, this would probably kill him, unless, critical hit? Yeah, he has that barrier of his, and we are going to counter, thankfully. Oh dear, that, like, we could have lost right there if we didn't counter. <coughs> Pardon me. Is he dead? Okay, he's dead. He has a lot of health. He must have like 1.8 million health easily. Okay, gonna take out Mira here, maybe. He's gonna be close to dying. Oh, we did take him out. Sweet. Making progress. Now, this is where it begins to get um, very hard. Um, and there is no good positioning for this. But, oh, okay. So, none of my guys have been locked yet. Like, is it worth... Sacrificing that GT Goku. You know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to keep him together, my my guy. And maybe if we can speed up the Doken mode, he'll make life a bit easier. As long as we can consistently super attack with the Super Saiyan 4s, and of course, it will rely him not to lock us, 
Um, we can raise Goki's defense enough to the point where we can tank more hits. So hopefully we can do that. But again, it does rely on a bit of luck, and he generally tends to um, lock the guys that hit the hardest, which in this case would be the Super Saiyan 4s. 79k. Oh, oh, are we gonna survive this? I use the Whis, right? Oh, please don't kill me. Oh my God, I don't have much health left. That was very close. And I was like, yeah, he generally attacks the first slot. Clearly not. Uh, 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 uh. So Trunks isn't super attacking. That is not a problem at all. And that Doken mode is still quite away from activating. Um, the thing is, I don't want to waste this Wii, so I'm going to attack. Is it? I haven't, yeah, I haven't super attacked with this Goku yet, I don't believe. Okay. How much is this going to do? See what I mean? Like, the, this Goku linked up with, like, my Super Saiyan 4 links up with Super Saiyan 3 GT hits as hard as the Super Attack 10, which is insane. It just shows you how much of a boost that Super Saiyan 3 Goku actually gives. And, wow, he's actually lost quite a bit of health. Oh, we're close to killing him. Sweet. Wow, 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 wow. Of course, my Super Saiyan 4 doesn't attack. Okay, good, he's an Usher. Um, I mean, I... Wait, no, you know what? Let's go with this. I'll attack with Gogeta, and then this will activate the Kamehameha link at least. So, it's something. Let's go. Uh, he's only at Super Attack 1, unfortunately. Come on. How much is it going to do? Not much at all. Wow, that that's impressive, Goku. <laughs> Come on, Gohan. Let's go. Gohan's super attack is kind of farmable. farmable. We can use the um, Goku from the barbershop. Uh, no, the Goku, the Gohan from the barbershop, the in-type. And is this going to take him out? I sure hope so. Uh, let's use a Whis. Uh, yeah, he's attacking Goku, so he should be fine. <gasps> Pardon me. And let's go over this. Come on. Is this going to take him out? I have a feeling it's going to be very close. Unless it's a critical hit. <clears throat> oh, he's so close to dying. This is it this turn, surely. He's dead. Come on. Come on. He's so close. Yeah, we beat him. Okay, so I got kind of blessed there with the whole um, Great Ape mode. So... I mean, it's a tough event because you can stop your hardest hitting units from, hit, like, obviously attacking. And if you were to use an agility team and he's, like, consistently locking your Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's with a critical hit, that's obviously going to make it a lot harder for you to beat the event. But that is the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.